Hey everybody, it's Matt from Union Horror Movies, and welcome to day 27 of my 31 Days of Horror. Today I'm bringing you a indie horror comedy from 2022. I found it on eBay, which is still available to purchase. And if you like retro toys, if you like, retro, like horror uh, stores and everything, this might be right up your alley. And the movie I'm going to be talking about is called Retro Freaks. Now, with Retro Freaks, it starts off in the 70s, where uh, two priests are working on this exorcism. It doesn't go as planned, but it does work, where they end up trapping this demon. Uh, the demon princess Al Alcuda, Alcada, in this old Ouija board. Uh, the priest has lost his eye and everything. The, everyone else is dead, so he figures it's trapped. The world is saved. Okay. Now we go to present day. Uh, you have these two stores. One is a retro toy store. And then one is a horror store, which looks awesome. I think it's a real store, too. Because I've never seen stuff online. So if it is a real store, guys, let me know. Because that's fucking cool. Uh, they're friends and everything. They're retro toy collectors, movie collectors, all this kind of shit and everything. Um, one of the girls happens to be leaving, so they're throwing her a party. So people are coming in left and right. Well, the priest from the beginning shows up. He wants to sell this Ouija board. He's telling them that, well, he needs the money. But he's also giving them, like, you know, this is some real shit in here. There's a demon really trapped in this Ouija board. And demon princess, you know, all the shit. And the owner's like, oh, is she hot? And the guy's like, what? This is a soul-sucking demon. We expect. So... Whatever, he, he buys the Ouija board, thinking, well, it's a horror store. This will look good on the shelves and whatnot as a display piece. Maybe he might sell it. Maybe he won't. We don't know. So down the road, uh, all the friends are getting together for a party for the girl who happens to be leaving. They decide to have a seance. Now, during the seance, they decide to grab the Ouija board. And they start working on the Ouija board and everything. And they accidentally release the demon Princess Al-Qaeda... And it, it pretty much goes inside the new girl. She is now possessed by this demon. So, of course, now you have uh, ho horror fans and retro toy collectors trying to save each other because this demon is now loose. At first, they kind of figured nothing's much going on. Uh, that's funny because they're actually after a retro, like almost like a He-Man character, and they're fighting for it. And one point, they're running from the demon. He drops and he goes... I need that figure. He goes back, goes goes back to get the figure and everything. So pretty much, um, we realize the body count is starting to tally. It goes on the news that bodies have been found at both locations, and they realize, oh shit, what do we need to do? So they kind of turn to the internet to their friends, who are actually all retro toy collectors, um, like Retro Rick. If you know his YouTube channel, he's in it. He's got a cameo in here, among others. They're all telling them, like, they're all doing research for them, saying, hey, this is pretty bad. This is what you need to do. Uh, we got to get to the horror toy community or to the toy community to work on this because our friends are dying. All this fun shit. So pretty much it's a race for survival and to try to stop this demon princess from, you know, killing everybody. Because she is on the move and she's hungry for souls. And there's a lot of explosions, body explosions. This is a low budget, so it's kind of like a bad CGI explosions, but it was great. Uh, the writing is hysterical. I was laughing my ass off. This movie was funny as hell. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, the characters work well together. Uh, they're like buddies. They're collectors. They kind of put their collections ahead of anything else. You know, gotta grab this before you know everyone else does. Uh, when they're hiding out in the the retro toy store, they're going, "Hey, I could." Oh, I've been after this figure for a while, and they started, you know, browsing through the store. And like, hello, there's a demon lord after them. <laughs> so pretty much, it's that type of deal. And the friends have to gather the gather their information, gather their weapons, what they need to do, and kill off this demon lord Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda, <sighs> whatever the demon princess. I'm just gonna say demon princess because I keep forgetting Akula, uh, demon princess. Uh, Akula. Hmm. Yeah. So pretty much they got to f save their friends, save their lives, because they're now trapped, 
to this battle because they also worked with this Ouija board. So it's definitely after them. So yeah, this was really cool flick. A uh, cool cameo with um, Sean from the Monster Squad. Uh, what's his name? It's right here, and I just saw it. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, yelling at me. Andre Gr Cower. Yeah, he plays Sean in the Monster Squad. He has a cool, couple cool scenes in this. Yeah, so the two shop owners are great. Again, if this horror store is real, I definitely want to go to check it out. It looks badass. Again, you can find this on eBay. So it's sold by the director himself. That's the only way you can get it. So I definitely recommend if you like these horror comedies, if you like retro toys, all that kind of shit, definitely check this movie out, guys. Retro Freaks is a lot of fun. They had like a premiere and everything. It's got some good special features to it as well. But there's nothing really much inside. So yeah, guys, go definitely check this out. Go hunt you down a copy and give it a watch. Let me know if you do, if you already have it. What are your thoughts on this one? So guys, let me know. Comments down below your thoughts. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review. Let me know again in the comments section. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned. We're almost done with my 31 Days of Horror. Later, guys. Peace.